Hey all, Pansar Dragon here, and today we'll be going over the top 5 best AD carries for solo queue as of patch 4.10. And recently, Dorn's Blade got a change, Infinity Edge has been buffed, and Bloodthirster sucks ass. This all makes long range AD carries the best right now, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So, at number 5, we do have Tristana. So, since Bloodthirster got nerfed and Infinity Edge is the new way to go, who else is good right now but the old utility Tristana with 703 range at level 18 and a 90% free attack speed steroid? And of course, the knockback from her ulti. But of course, she does lack AD ratios, a power spike that only happens when she gets an Infinity Edge, and a really shitty escape that takes like 2 seconds to cast. Other than that, she is a long range AD carry, which makes her really good at the moment. And now since the Bloodthirster meta is gone, that means now it's time for Tristana's time to shine. Next up we do have Twitch. So Twitch did receive some nerfs, they weren't that impactful, as he only lost a small amount of true damage, and now he has 3 less AD, but you do get AD from runes anyways. The only big nerf I guess is that you can actually gank him now, as you don't need to be Lee Sin or bring a pink ward every time you want to kill him, and so that's like the only thing that really got hit is his laning phase as now he's gankable. But I mean, he still does have his stealth, he can make big plays, he can pop up and 1v1 the squishies with his Ghost Blade plus Blade of the Rune King. In late game, he still does have that AoE spray and prey, so he's still one of the best hyper carries late game, it's just they kinda hit his early game slash mid game a bit. So I did have to move Twitch down. But just remember, he is still one of those long range AD carries, and he's not a Bloodthirster user. So he's still viable in that sense. And at number 3, we do have Caitlyn. So Caitlyn kind of got a buff with the Doran's Blade changes. Uh, it does now give lifesteal. And in lane, Caitlyn is like the most abusive with her auto attacks. So yeah, she kind of got a buff with that. And even though she was a Bloodthirster user, she was also an Infinity Edge user. And so she can go that path too. Her mid game is kind of decent since you can start sieging towers. As she can just keep abusing her range until some other carries catch up. But her late game is kind of bad, she doesn't have any like attack speed steroids or AD steroids. All she really has is her range and her headshot passive. Other than that, there are better carries who do scale into the late game better. And spells like her Q kind of are bad late game since it does have a cast timer, plus the damage on it kind of falls off later since you could be auto attacking. And so to make use of her, you gotta be good at mid game and early game. Next up we do have Kog'Maw. So Kog'Ma is pretty good right now since he does have long range. He can make more use of the Blade of Rune King since it does more current percent health damage. And Kog'Ma was never a Bloodthirster user since he didn't have any AD ratios with it. And again, so with the nerf of the Bloodthirster champs, he's coming back into the game. So what does Kog'Ma offer to the party? So Kog'Ma does bring a lot of damage to the party as his W does a lot of maximum percent health damage. And since Assassins are nerfed by the exhaust changes, I think he's a really safe AD carry right now, and of course he is one of the best late game AD carries right now, since he does have one of the longest ranges in the game, and can shred people down like no tomorrow. Of course Kog'Maw does lack an escape, so if he's caught out, there's like kinda no way out for him, unless he does have flash up or good support to peel for him. And to sum up Kog'Maw, he has long range, and is one of the best late game carries. And at number 1 is Lucian. So Lucian hasn't really gotten any direct nerfs, only an indirect nerf, just because the Bloodthirster got nerfed so he can't make use of his AD ratios as much. And Lucian was better with the other Doran's Blade because he used to heal more since he did get 10 health on the double shot, and now he kind of gets less. But Lucian has always been versatile in build paths, and even before the nerfs to Bloodthirster, people who tried builds like Blade Rune King plus Triforce, and it's still proven positive results, just not as much as Bloodthirster plus Triforce. And so yeah, he's still very versatile in build paths. And in terms of his kit, the double shot does do a lot of damage. He still has one of the best escapes in the game, and all of his skills basically do damage. So his damage is still high, he still does have that dueling potential on people. And to sum it up, he basically has every good trait of an AD carry that you want to do. Escape, wave clear, poke, damage, etc. So even though he's not really a long range AD carry and those are pretty dominant right now, he's still number one since his kit is so strong right now. Anyways, that's the end of this video, thank you for watching. I know it's really hard to go in depth on AD carries, but they all do basically the same thing, which is auto attack. And so it's really hard to go in depth on each champion since most of their strengths is right click to win. So if you like this video, make sure to check out my other tier list and make sure to subscribe to get a notification when the other videos are released. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.